Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video! Did you know that plastic is the water's biggest enemy? Yes, I know how can plastic be so awful? I mean, almost all our toys are made of plastic. But believe me, plastic can be very, very dangerous. It's doing a lot of damage to the water and the earth. Look around you and take a moment to notice all the things that are made of plastic. Chairs, cables, toys, garbage cans, mop buckets, toothbrushes, combs, clothes pegs. That's a lot, isn't it? They're everywhere. Like packaging and disposable products. Such as the things we are used only once and then thrown away. Straws, bags and bottles are disposable products. How long does it take, do you think, to drink a cold water through a straw? Five minutes? Well, that straw, which you then throw away and never use again, takes 450 years to disappear. Can you believe it? This happens because plastic is one of the materials that take the longest time to degrade, that takes the longest time to disappear. Let's think for a moment. Every day people use millions of straws, millions of bags, and millions of bottles. ever wondered where all this garbage, which will take centuries to disappear, ends up? Well, if it is not recycled properly, it ends up here. Yes, in the water. Tons and tons of plastic. The plastic that invades the sea kills millions of animals. Some are trapped and others die of suffocation and others eat it thinking it is food. Many animals have been found dead because of plastic, such as seals, dolphins, fish, birds. Isn't it terrible? The good thing is that we are still in time to reverse the situation. How? Well, by reducing the use of plastic, of course. You don't need to stop playing with your toys, but you do need to take good care of them so that other children can use them when you don't want them anymore. And like that, not so many are made. You can also stop using plastic straws. You don't need them at all. Another thing you can do is to replace plastic bags with cloth bags and water bottles with metal or glass ones. These materials can be used hundreds of times and are much easier to recycle. It doesn't sound like much, does it? Well, it is and it really means a lot for the water and our planet and for all these animals. Thanks to all of us, they will be able to survive. Hello, I am the Earth. Yep, the very planet you live on. They are three words which start with the letter R, which I love. They are reduce, reuse and recycle. Do you know why I love them so much? Because they are almost magical words. They can make all living things as well as myself be happier. I said that they are almost magical because without your help, it won't work. They need all of you children in order to do the trick. Each and every one of you are the real three R's magicians. Those three words which can change the world. Do you want to know how? Yes? Well, let's find out. The first R is for reduce. If you think about it, 
There are many things you don't need. When you go to the supermarket, I'm sure you can take your own canvas bags instead of using disposable ones given to you. Like that, you will be reducing the amount of plastic, which is very contaminating. And I'm sure that you don't need to print out so many documents or photos, nor leave lights, television or computers on when you're not using them. If you remember this, you'll be reducing the amount of paper being used as well as energy and in turn will be helping to reduce the contamination. And these are just a few examples. I am sure you can think of many more different ways to reduce what you are using or creating unnecessary waste. The following question will help you with this task. Do I really need this or is this just a whim? The second R is for recycling. Now, it is easier than ever to recycle things we don't need anymore so that they can be reused. Near your home, you can find places like the recycling station and containers for cans, plastic, paper or organic waste. They each have specific colors to make it easier to identify. By using them, you will avoid contaminating nature the rivers and seas, as well as the atmosphere, which is the air we breathe. And finally, we have the third R, which refers to reuse. How many things do you think we can reuse again and again instead of throwing them away? Let's see. A piece of paper that has only one side printed on, a carton box, a plastic bottle, you think now, with just a little bit of imagination, I'm sure you can come up with many more exciting and fun new uses for them. And remember, if you apply the three R's rule, you will make me a much cleaner planet, with less contamination and where we can all enjoy a better life. Have you heard of palm oil? I'm sure you have, and it's very likely that you've used it more than once without even realizing it. You can find it in things like shampoo, toothpaste, cookies, and even in some chocolates. Palm oil has become a very popular product all over the world. But it hides a terrible secret. To plant the palm, which is the tree that produces this oil, an entire jungle is being raised to the ground. What a shame! Look at this map. What we see surrounded by red is the jungle of Southeast Asia, one of the oldest jungles in the world and one of the most important lungs of our planet. It is the home to millions of trees and plants essential to combat the greenhouse effect. It is also home to so many animals that exist nowhere else on Earth, such as this family of orangutans or this majestic Sumatran tiger. But this jungle, so indispensable for the environment and for the life of many living things may disappear because of this oil. Every day, hundreds of kilometers of forest are cut down and burnt to be replaced by palm trees. Millions of plants disappear and animals like these poor elephants or this frightened orangutan flee trying to escape the destruction. Although very soon they will have nowhere left to run. If we don't do something together, they will be left without a home, without food, and they will end up disappearing. But not all is lost. The easiest way to help the animals in the jungles of Southeast Asia is... Mm. 
to eat healthily. Industrial pastries and processed food are full of this oil and are very bad for our health. If you want to eat biscuits, you can make them yourselves with your family and it's also a lot of fun. Instead of processed foods, it is much smarter to eat fruits, vegetables, meat and fish, which are much more beneficial for our body. So now you know to eat well, eat healthily and wisely, and orangutans and elephants can continue to live happily and carefree in the jungles of Southeast Asia. Ah, and all of nature as well as your body will thank you for it. Goodbye friends, until the next video.